All right, Andrew, you're open. All right. I can't believe it. How long has the process been? When did you? When I was, think it's probably been about a year and a half, to be honest with you. I feel like I think no it's been kidding. that long. Was there a point when it stopped, or was it always going and it just slowed down? Like, what what happened? You know, there's this thing called the recession. <laughs> we all I think went through. I think we all aware of that you know we were just being smart about it you know obviously with the opening of the Biltmore location for us it was a huge exposure something we we're looking forward to right. and you know we're the guys that kind of want to do things correctly instead of just doing it just to do it and so we planned it out you know money is hard to come by these days you know with the recession coming in it's not as easy to find money as we all think it was back like before. Sure. I'm sure we've all remembered a couple of the banks had some issues to themselves. So, right. you know, there was issues like that. And, you know, like, and like I said, we want to open up the right way, the right exposure, sticking to what we've always been about was doing things correctly. Right. So, so you opening right now, does this mean that you think things are turning around or is this you just yeah. sort of throwing the ball and hoping it lands? You know, you know? I, we... We do see changes coming on now. Okay. Um, we feel it is the right process to start the motion of going forward with it. Um, so we are doing it. You know, we are opening. We're going for it, and you know, responses have been great uh, for the short time we've been open. So hopefully, it turns into something more positive, as much as everyone's been kind of talking about and right, right. here and out there. So you know. You uh, changing the menu at all for the new location? The menu stays the same. Okay. You know, I think that's the biggest thing about opening multiple locations of the same concept is keeping that consistency there, so the guests are familiar. Like, well, I know when I go to Stingray, I can count on it. It's gonna be this way. Right. And I think some loca you know, other concepts they kind of tweak here and there, and that won't happen here. Our basic menu um, is the same. Uh, you're gonna be open late, like the Old Town. Same hours as Old Town. Okay. So you'll still have that. Yeah. Do you think you'll get the crowd that late? We will see. You know, we hope. And we got Houston's next door Houston's under construction. Yeah, we're very excited for them. That gives us a little more reinforcement with what we're kind of trying to do here, being at the Biltmore. That Houston is who they are. Being that they're willing to stay in this area still, they're moving right next door on the same side of the street with us. I mean, we're absolutely excited for so it. So I assume they're closing the uh, the Esplanade location once I that's over. They're, they're yeah. moving over to um, where okay. Chevy's used to be. Yeah. But um, I do know that the two story where it used to house Sam's Cafe, Steamers, and so forth, that is coming down. And what they'll do is they're going to do um, a parking lot. Okay. Which is great yeah, for yeah, us too. because now we're the end cap. So you're officially open now? As we today? are, you know, March 10th, today, Wednesday, you know, we are... You're doing a charity event tonight for... We do it for the Boys and Girls Club. Okay. And that's from 4 to 10. And... $10 donations at the door. Um, we have it in the bar area, past apps, past drinks. But again, if you're here to dine, you're more than welcome to sit on our dining side of the restaurant sure. and enjoy your dinner there. And yeah, we're open, we're excited. You know, today's kind of the first real day where letting people know we're ready, at least we hope.